when Rishi Sunak sets out his multi-year spending review tomorrow, we'll be looking closely to see how much money the Chancellor has allocated to support public services hit by the pandemic, because our new Institute for Government report, published with SIPFA, revealed huge backlogs in elective care, criminal court cases, referrals to children's social care and school learning. As of August this year, there were 5.7 million people waiting for elective operations, longer than at any point since at least 2007. There were over 60,000 criminal court cases waiting to be heard at the end of June this year. And between April 2020 and July 2021, there were 11% fewer referrals to children's social care than the average of the same weeks between 2017 and 2020. At the end of the spring 2021 term, primary school pupils were on average two months behind in reading and three months behind in maths. So despite huge additional support from government, an extra £155 billion to support public services across the UK in 2020-21 and 2021-22, some public services, notably some schools and local authorities, did not receive enough money to cover their extra costs and have entered the recovery in a worse financial position than they were before. So, when Rishi Sunak stands up to sout his plans, he should commit to spending more money now to clear backlogs or risk creating higher costs for the taxpayer in the future.